I come this morning giving thanks. Yes, I come with the word from God that touched my heart first. And we want to turn for to Psalms the 27th chapter. Psalms 27, starting at the first verse. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies around about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises yes. unto the Lord. I would like to direct your attention to the fourth verse. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek out, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, when God gave this to me, I, he took me back. And I'm talking about way back. I'm not a young man anymore. I, but God took me back when I was a young man. And the desires that I had in my heart. And they were not desires of seeking after him or right. 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 with him. But God took me back there to make a point, and I want to take you back. You know, if there's one thing, if somebody had asked you before I got up this morning or before you got here this morning, what is your one desire? What would your answer be? I don't want you to say it, but I want you to think of it. What would your answer be? You see, in this world, we have so many things that pull at us. Some of us want health, some strength, some wealth, some success, some peace. But we all desire something. But I want you to look at it like God looks at it. God wants you to desire Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wants you to be satisfied with Him. Go to Matthew, the 20, the 6th chapter, the 33rd verse. And I, what I'm doing is I want, I want you to know, or be justified in what I'm telling you. The 6th chapter of Matthew and the 33rd verse says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. If we seek after God. You know, David in this song, we call David a, a, a man after God's own heart. Because David had a strong desire to please God. Through all the battles and through all the things that he went through, he had a desire to please God. Now, if we put that in the forefront, that we want to please God, we find that if we 
please God, to first to please God, we got to know more about him. The portion of the text says, and I think in the sixth chapter, that, that he wanted to go into the temple and to learn of God and to to inquire of God. That's what we say. He wants to inquire of God. If you go into the house of God, you go into the church and you inquire of God, then you're learning of God. You cannot appreciate something until you have a full knowledge of what it is. And if you are going to be one who desires God, then you need to have a complete knowledge of who God is and what God is, what benefit there is to, to serving God, to seeking after God. David knew the benefit because David knew the history. But he also went into the temple and he also learned of God. David was one who not only learned of God, but David praised God. He worshipped yes. God. The Bible says he danced before the Lord. David danced so much that he danced out of his clothes. Right. And we will hardly lift up our voice All to God. Right. All right. So what is the difference? The dictionary says desire is to long, to crave, to want something. If you desire something and you crave it, you know, it's just like some people say they crave chocolate. Mm -hmm. You just got a taste of it. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going to be satisfied till you get it. Yeah. If you got a desire to, to seek after God right. and to dwell in His house forever, yeah. then you got a desire that you can't be can't be Come by anything else. All right. All right. You've got to know God. And you've got to know Him intimately for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's all right to have a relationship with the past and the past to know God. But you mm -hmm. need to have one for yourself. Yeah. A relationship yeah. with God. You need to learn of God for yourself. And, and I keep that. This is like the third, fourth sermon I've talk, I talked about this. Learning of God and praying to God. I, uh, and I, 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 I'm assuming I'm going to keep saying this until God takes it off my heart. But having a prayer life, yes. having a relationship with God starts with that. You've got to study. Yes. And, and it's, it's great coming to church. It's great coming to Sunday school and Bible study. But you've got to set some time down for yourself. Just you and God. Mm -hmm. David said in the passage that when his enemies, when his foes, yeah. Came looking for to tear his soul, mm -hmm. to destroy him, that he found peace yeah. in God. Now, you might say, David, that is different. But let me let me give you a little history about David. Y'all know this. Mm -hmm. David's enemy was his king. Mm -hmm. It was every time he fought a war. The children of Israel, David was the king, and all these enemies, they came to kill David. Now, you and I talk about the problem we got on our job, or the problem we got with our neighbor or something, and, and how we, we're being put on. Oh, you, you don't know anything about enemies or foes until your very life is at stake. David danced before the Lord because the Lord has saved him on numerous occasions from those that were out for his blood, yeah. his very life. You and I, people ask for our jobs, our wives, our husbands, our cars. They want it, but there are very few people out there, except Satan, who is out there for our very life on a daily basis. David was a ruler. And as we know in history, people who were in the same kingdom as his would kill people. Look at Caesar. People who you trust will put a knife in your back. David trusted the Lord. Above all things, he trusted the Lord. One thing have I desired, and one thing will I seek out. Mm -hmm. What is that one thing, church? Mm -hmm. We who are church folks, we who come to church every Sunday or every Sunday that we can, what is that one thing? That we would dwell in the house of the Lord. That we would look upon the Lord in all the beauty. And that we would find safety in his house. Yeah. You know, it's one thing to come to church. It's another one to come happily to church. Mm -hmm. I was glad when they said unto me, yeah. let us go into the house of the Lord. <laughs> one thing, church. One thing. That's all. One thing, and that's a desire to serve God, to love God. What is the one thing that you got? Right. 
What is the one thing that you need? A God on your side. See, anybody, anybody can die. But it took my God, my Savior, Jesus Christ, to live. Hallelujah. He was put in the grave, but he lived. Yes, sir. He was spit upon, whipped, beat for your sins and mine. But he lived. One thing yeah. that I desire, one thing I will seek after, mm -hmm. that is to love the Lord, mm. to do diligence to his word. Yes. I want to tell everybody. I don't know if y'all know when y'all got saved how, how good it felt and how you want to tell everybody yeah. and how you want to get everybody a little piece of this holiness that you had. Yeah. I wanted to give my brothers, my sisters, people I didn't even know. I said, come on, I want to tell you about Jesus. Mm -hmm. But after a while, sometimes something gets in us and, and we it starts to fade and we need a revival. Mm -hmm. Not only a revival on the outside, we need a revival on the inside. Uh -huh. Every day, every minute, I want God to revive that feeling, that spirit that I want to tell somebody how good God is. Yeah. One thing. One thing. Yeah. One thing That's right. That I desire, that I seek out. Uh -huh. I want to make God proud of me. I want to make yeah. God woo. Yeah. I want God to know that I love him and that I appreciate what he's done for me. When he Sent his son Jesus to die for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ain't nothing else that I could do or say hallelujah. that's going to equal what he did. Yeah. I can't say a many hallelujahs or, or, or praise God enough to let God know how much I thank him. Thank you. For I was a sinner. I was a sinner, church. Yeah. Jesus. Ooh, hell bound. Yeah. Hell bound. Uh, y'all, I'm sure y'all ain't none of y'all been yeah. hell bound. Right, right. I, I'm sure y'all ain't, ain't none of y'all been hell bound. I'm sure yeah. none of y'all ain't been out there in the world and and and, and like it. Yeah. People say that, you know, I had such a hard time out there in the world, but you wasn't doing it right. I had a good time. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed myself out there. Mm -hmm. You did too, but you was cold out right there. Let me be honest about this. <laughs> Let come on now. You can't go out and see people go out and they and they tell their children how bad things you, you ain't gonna like it. And they go out there and do it. Oh, this is, ooh, I'm liking this. So everything else, mom and dad told me must be a lie. Uh -uh. You gonna like it. You ain't gonna like the consequence. If you go out there in the world, you probably will have a good time. Satan is gonna make sure you have a good time. But the consequences there are is death. The consequences they are is dead. And you know, death ain't just dead. Right, it's hell. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hell. Yeah. See, the Bible says those in, who, who die in God sleep. Yeah. And one of these days, Jesus is coming back. Yeah. Yeah. And because of that power that we can meet him, mm -hmm. the dead in Christ will first rise. Yes, Jesus. I want to get up. The 8th chapter of Romans talks about whom shall I fear? When it goes down a little bit further, the 35th verse, what shall separate us from the love of God? Yeah. What is it that you got that you think will separate you from the love of God? What do you think is so great that God cannot handle? Jesus. Jesus. <clears throat> war, rumors of war, health, wealth, uh -huh. employment, what it is that you think God can't do? God said, seek me. Seek me. David said, I sought him. I dwell, I desire to dwell with him. One thing, church. One thing. One thing. That I seek out. Yeah. That I desire. Lord. One thing. I want to see the beauty of the Lord. I want to live with Him. I want Him to be pleased with me. Amen. One thing. Praise you, Lord. One thing.